Hey, I got a question for you guys at home and here in the studio. Do you wear white after Labor Day? Yes? All right, so apparently it doesn't matter to a lot of people. I'm going to tell you more about this, all right? So this is basically a fashion uh, rule a lot of people are starting to ignore. No white after Labor Day. Especially in Florida, you know, a lot of us might feel just fine wearing the cooling colors past September. Yeah, I don't mind. White or color, whatever. But uh, where did the rule even come from, right? This morning, let's go beyond the headline to look at the history of this fashion paw. Faux pas. Reader's Digest helps us break down some of the reasons people were not supposed to wear white after Labor Day. Some experts say it's one of the many rules created by high society women in the 1880s to separate who was acceptable in society and who wasn't. If you break any of these rules, you can't sit with us at lunch. Through the early 1900s, the thought is you couldn't wear white if you were working class in the dirty, dusty city, but you could wear white if you were wealthy enough to escape the city to your summer vacation home. The no white after Labor Day rule picked up steam in women's fashion magazines in the 1950s. Other experts agree it's just practical. White would get too dirty in the fall and winter seasons. Remember, most fashion designers are in New York at this fall. time. So the rule is based on their weather. Something we in the Sunshine State don't have to worry about. So we wear white whenever.